Welcome to the Market Pulse podcast from Equifax, where we break down the latest economic and credit insights to help you navigate today's business landscape. Welcome to the Market Pulse podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Harden, and I'm a member of the risk advisory practice here at Equifax. Collectively, this team supports our clients by providing insight and guidance on how to navigate economic uncertainty and uncover hidden opportunities. Today, we're going to take a look backwards and forwards. Did economists miss the mark in 2023? And what is 2024 shaping up to look like? My panel of experts include the following esteemed reindeer. Thomas Aliff, a.k.a. Dancer, the reindeer with the most flair and elegance, (laughs) as you can see. Tom O'Neill, a.k.a. Blitzen, never one to back down or give up in the face of adversity. Dave Soika, a.k.a. Comet is the strongest of all the reindeer and is known for being stubborn and loyal. (laughs) Maria Ertubi, a.k.a. Donner. She's a reindeer not to be messed with. She keeps all the other reindeer in line. And I'm Jesse Harden, a.k.a. Rudolph, the youngest and the most famous reindeer of all. Hey, it's the perks of the job. Welcome, everyone. I'm happy to have you all with us today. And before we dive in, I just want to give a big shout out to our listeners The Equifax Risk Advisors were very excited to start a podcast in 2023, and we're now a year in. We thank you all for listening, and I'm excited to say you can expect big things from this podcast in 2024. Also, we love feedback. If you're listening and have an idea what you want to hear more about in 2024, please drop us an email at riskadvisors at equifax.com. But let's do this. Before we begin, let's kick things off with a quick economic update from David Fieldhouse, Director of Consumer Analytics at Moody's Analytics. David? Last week, we talked about the health of the economy. This week, I want to talk about where credit markets are heading. Uh, And we are seeing some deceleration. And this is a, a trend that is likely going to continue to the end of next year. You know, we can look at consumer debt, we can look at corporate debt. On the corporate side, we're actually seeing new issuance. It has yet to reach the levels that it was in 2022. You know, given that there's a lot of economic uncertainty and high interest rates, firms are just exercising caution. Our baseline forecast is expecting uh, outstanding corporate debt to increase to 5.1% this year and slowing to 3.9% next year and 4.2% in 2025. And these are growth rates below the pre-pandemic average, just to put that in perspective. On the consumer side, 